How's it going, everybody? Happy Friday, happy Friday. I know, I know. I wish it could be a stream yard thing where I'm sitting there chilling, kind of on the run. But I wanted to post this anyway because that's what we do. Um, you know, we posted a ton of stuff already covering Jalen Brown's commitment to LSU. We posted a lot of stuff about Jalen Brown before he committed to LSU, saying that that would happen. And here it is. The five-star has committed to LSU as predicted by LSUodyssey.com. Obviously, we didn't get Collins Akimpong, right? He went to Michigan instead of Miami. Um, we didn't get uh, another five-star, right? Or wait, no, yeah, we got Dante Moore, right? We said Oregon, and he went to Oregon. Uh, we didn't get Christian Gray, right? Uh, we... we kind of emotionally didn't want to pick against Robert Steeples. And so we said, you know, we can't bet against Robert Steeples. We can't publicly go against this guy, you know, who, who's such a badass. We can't go against Robert Steeples. But in my heart of hearts, I, I he's probably going to Notre Dame, but let's just go with Steeples because he's my man. But, you know, outside of those two, we have been hitting a heater as far as um, forecasting what is going on with these commitments. Um, and it's been a really intense time covering these uh, commitments because at first, you know, so much criticism towards the staff. The staff are just going to get three stars from Nebraska. Who... They can't recruit Louisiana. Who are these guys, you know? Trying to turn it in Notre Dame of the South. And, you know, of course, we came out and said, you know, this is going to be a more nationally based class because of all of what has happened. The transfer portal, uh, all the departures from LSU being so thin on the roster, all of the things LSU had to do to rebuild this roster. Uh, the 2022 class was a little bit different because of those parameters, because of those uh, restrictions. And the 2023 class, you see repercussions of it because of that. Because of the mess from Coach Ed Orgeron on the roster. But... You know, there's always going to be bigger needs each class. But, you know, for instance, there's not always going to be three top five quarterbacks from Louisiana that LSU misses all of them on, you know. And Kelly even got us kind of close than we, than we were previously for some of these guys. Uh, obviously not enough to even get anywhere near, but a lot closer than we were. And so you, you feel like, of, okay, okay, of course it's going to be nationally based. And this is something I've continue, continued to say. Of course it's going to be a nationally based class. I have no problem with that. Of course I understand why they're relying on relationships they trust, commitments they know will be 100%. They're still out going and getting absolute elite talent, though. And at the same time, as long as they can get, you know, Shelton Sampson Jr., Zalance Hurd, Tyree Adams, Harvey Broussard III, and Kylan Jackson, one of, the, one of the corners in the class is a success. Outside of that, who knows, but if they can get finish this class, finishing it off with at least those four or five Louisiana guys, then, then this is... Um, this is not only a top 10 class recruiting wise, this is a top five class uh, in the rankings. But to hell with the rankings. 
Um, it'll be the right class for the Tigers. Uh, they're going for the right players here. Um, this recruiting staff are really, really dialed in. And I'm telling you right now, you're hearing it here first. Jalen Brown will not be the only five-star coming to LSU right here and now, coming up in the next bit here. Just telling you that right here and now. The five-star parade is far from over.